Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday afternoon, kind of a warmish, uh, get gonna be sticky day, I'm afraid. The uh, sun's out for a change finally after all this rain we've been getting, so it's getting a little steamy. So I figured I'm in the, wor in the mood for something light and refreshing. Uh, one of my favorite styles, uh, Belgian style, is the uh, Belgian uh, Triple Abbey Ale. I'm gonna do one I've never had before uh, from, it's the Bornum triple uh, this is actually a Van Steenburgen or Van Steenburg uh, a product uh, they're the ones that do Golden Drac and uh, a lot of other beers a lot of other Belgian style beers so I figured it ought to be pretty good uh, went to the website it says Bornum triple is a quote lively lively in quotes Abbey beer of 9% content alcohol that after its first fermentation in the barrel evolves during a second fermentation in the bottle or in the barrel. Abbey Tribbles are mostly blonde or light amber in color. The Bornum Triple tastes hoppy and full with an excellent sweet bitter balance. Its pleasant scent and nice foam head make this beer a winner in its kind. Bornum Triple is a powerful beer to enjoy as dessert or as appetizer. Some prefer it with mussels or other seafood. This Abbey beer also suits excellent with hearty cheese platter. That's uh, Courtesy of uh, courtesy of Google Translate, so let me uh, get the cap off this 750 mil. Or whoa, didn't even end. It's foaming over. I better get some of this in the glass. Wasn't expecting that at all. Shouldn't have been shook up too much, but it was in the cooler on the way here to the park, so. Maybe it will. I can't believe it. The cork is off there somewhere in the trees. I'm going to pour real easy on this. And it's still got a hell of a head on it. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to last. So we got a nice golden color. Looks like a bunch of carbonation streaming up. Uh, there's a good three fingers of a really, really, uh, really foamy white head. Soapy looking. Looks like soap, subble, soap suds, that's for sure. So... Oh, I can smell it from here, so let me give it a taste. Okay, I'm getting those spices from the yeast. There's a, there's pear, there's a bit of sour apple, just a slight hint of that 9% alcohol. Um, apricots, um, like really sugary apricots, pineapple, maybe a little sourdough uh, uh, smell from the, from the malts. Uh, a lot of green apple, uh, a lot of malt, a lot of spices, um, maybe a little clove, a uh, little honey, a little citrus. Um, there's like lemons, apples, pears in it, a lot of fruitiness, so let me give it a taste. Okay, there's a, a toasted malt mixed with some citrus to start. Um, like like lemons and pears, just like on the uh, on the nose. Um, there's a little astringency in the middle, and that's kind of dry and bitter in the end. I'm getting just a again just a hint of that uh, that nine percent alcohol. There's some uh, spices in the background that kind of appear at the end with that uh, slightly dry uh, bitter finish. Um, seems to be kind of a thin mouth feel, but um, I'd say medium light. Uh, Definitely up there in carbonation, though. There's a lot of carbonation going on, but it, it goes down it goes down pretty smooth um, with that slight bite at the end. Like I said, finish is kind of a uh, little dry, a little astringent. Um, nice taste and nice refreshing, uh, nice refreshing triple. So let me sit. I'm going to add some more, and I'll sip on this for a while, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's only been like 10 minutes or so. I didn't want this to warm up too much. We got uh, This is about the third park I've gone to today. Every place they're they're mowing and Now they're coming here getting close. You can probably hear the mowers in the background, but uh, it hasn't warmed up a lot But not a lot has changed, but I really I like this. I like this quite a bit. Um, it's a nice Nice uh, take on a, on a triple a lot of fruitiness um, a lot of that citrus lemon pear uh, I like the dryness, um, the slight astringency that's um, 
really, really, really refreshing. Um, a good taste in beer. Other, you know, the mouthfeel's thin, but uh, it still goes down smooth. So, uh, leaving some halfway decent lacing down the glass too. So, um, this is a decent take on a triple. Um, it still doesn't hold a candle to uh, West Mall or Chimay or you know any of the Abbey triples that I've had, and uh, I don't think it's as good as um, like their 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 Golden Drock or uh, I guess what was the other one, the Golden Drock Nine Thousand. Um, there are other takes, there are other beers, but uh, still, still a decent, uh, decent take on a triple. So I'm going to give the Bornum. Oh, here, let me read this off the back here. This is kind of strange because this should have been done better, but it looks, it looks a little weird. Maybe, maybe that's what they meant. Saint Bernardus Abbey in Bornum, golden shining, soft mouth feeling, perfectly balanced taste, full body, heartwarming, splendid aroma, tickling in the nose. Hoppy dry long finish. And it says brewed and bottled by B.R. Van Steenberg. And it gives the address there in uh, imported by Winnet 2 in Santa Barbara, California. But uh, decent take, decent take on a triple. I'm gonna give the Bornum Authentic Belgian Triple Abbey Ale. I'm gonna give it a good solid uh, eight out of ten. Worth a shot, uh, worth a try. If you like triples, um as far as the three styles, I I prefer triples to quads and doubles, but um, I like them all, but uh, my favorite is probably the triple, ma mainly for this kind of weather when it's light, you know, when it's warm out, a little bit sticky, and you need something light and refreshing. This will do it for sure, so till next time, everybody, the Bornham uh, Abbey Triple gets 8 out of 10. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. Ah, uh, just a quick note. I did find the cork. I couldn't find the cage anywhere. It's off in the tree somewhere. I know telling how far it flew. So, next time everybody.